Lafayette is coming off a win against Texas State and is off this weekend before facing Arkansas State on Tuesday the 20th for a nationally televised game on ESPN2. Uh, Coach Wall, waiting for questions to get in the queue. Would you mind starting us off with the opening statement? Well, I'm just very proud of the football team, the way we bounced back from the previous two weeks. It felt like we got back on track in a lot of ways uh, Saturday night. Uh, I thought we had strong quarterback play with Jalen Nixon, who was Sunbelt Conference Player of the Week. You know, every time a guy goes 22 with 29, three touchdowns and rushes for a touchdown, that's a pretty strong performance. Uh, I, I thought he played extremely well. And then Elijah McGuire uh, did what he normally, you know, has been doing for us. Had a big night, ran the ball well. Jamal Robson had some big plays. Defensively, I thought we played awfully well. Only gave up 21 points defensively to a team that's been scoring some points. And uh, then our special teams got into the action with Jarrell Brazil. Uh, getting a 100-yard kickoff return. So proud of the way we played. Thought it was a very clean game. We had no turnovers. Uh, played well. Uh, a lot of good energy. Was in front of a great crowd. And so uh, excited now to move forward to a tough Arkansas State team that we've had some some great battles with in the last four years. And it'll be great exposure uh, as we play on a Tuesday night uh, next week up in Jonesboro against a very good Arkansas State team. Hey, Coach, as a reminder, our members of the media is a star one to get in the queue to ask questions. If you could, Coach, talk a little bit about Saturday's performance by Jamal Robinson and what does that mean to him um, and also the team going forward in the Sun Belt Conference play? Well, that's, that's the type of performance here. we sort of have come accustomed to seeing from Jamal. And, you know, just uh, him getting injured last year, missing uh, nine games, is taking a little while to get back into, into the groove a little bit, I guess you might say. But he's uh, played much better. Our next questions come from uh, Jeff Palmero with the Louisiana Radio Network. Uh, Jeff, please go ahead. Hey, Coach Hudspeth, how are you doing today? Hey, doing fine, thanks. Uh, any reaction or uh, thoughts on the um, UL, UL talking about or acknowledging an NCAA investigation? No, other than the fact that we, we you know, I'll be addressed at this moment because of everything still taking place, not to, not to comment on it. Uh, another question about the game, the fact that you guys have been playing these midweek games, um, and, and have you been able to get used to them, get used to a kind of a routine of playing on Tuesday nights? Yeah, we really have. Uh, for the fact that in the last two years we've been undefeated on Tuesday and Thursday nights. We feel like we do have a very good routine. Uh, we start with Tuesday, if that's game day, then that's Saturday, and Monday's a Friday, Sunday's a Thursday, and Saturday's a is uh, Wednesday, and we work our way back, and that's how we prepare. And uh, we've been very successful with these games. We feel like we've got a pretty good formula, and so I certainly hope it continues. And then just one other question. You feel now that you have a little bit more certainty at the quarterback position that can lead to some good things with your offense? I, I think so. You know, anytime you get some continuity, that's going to help. It's never easy when you're trying to figure out the be quarterback, and unfortunately, Starting quarterbacks don't stay forever. It seemed like Kenneth Broadway did, but he eventually had to move on. Uh, but, you know, Jalen played very well against Kentucky, brought us back with a chance to beat him, and then he got hurt at the very end of the game, missed the next week. And, you know, if he could have stayed healthy and played the next week, we may have gotten in rhythm a little bit sooner. Uh, but we just struggled scoring points for a couple of weeks as we were playing musical chairs. But I thought we sort of had that – that game that we needed to sort of spark the team and to really get our offense going the other night. Thanks, Coach. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you, Jeff, and uh, thank you, Coach. That's uh, all the time we have for you today. We do appreciate it.